go. Thank you so much. You're the best. You're welcome. Late son. Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. But thank you very much for this opportunity. You can start. Ah, right, yes. Well, I grew up down south. I'm an only child. I've always been interested in, in helping people. So you decided to become a records manager? Oh, my father was a records manager. 30 years. I think a lot of the choices that I made were to impress him. I think we contribute to society enough. And why is that? Um, your previous work experience seems a little vague. What exactly were you doing before this? Yes, um, it was unpaid work mostly. Uh, community service, I guess you'd call it. I don't think you'd be too interested. Did your father put you up to this then? No. He died a few years back. Clark, do you actually have any qualifications for this position? The last thing my father said to me, he asked me. Clark, do you know this is my first sick day in 30 years? It's a thankless job, son. But I've never had trouble with my tie in the morning. In high school, I wanted to be a doctor, a fireman, something to make folks go. That guy's some here. Records managers. We also get called custodians. You know what that means? A keeper. A watchman. A guard. I see over a hundred thousand lives represented every day in these records. And I get to protect them all at once. I think that's a pretty damn good contribution to society. You don't need a cape to, to make, make a difference, difference. He did. That wasn't a joke, Mr. Cooper. I'm not looking for a hero. I want a records manager. I've heard enough. Honestly? We'll call you.
See you on Monday.